This is Damien Kemp reporting from AUSA for Janes. I'm speaking to Bill Fell, who's a Sikorsky test pilot. He's going to talk to us about the Raider helicopter. Bill, can you talk to us about the developments that you've had on this helicopter and, and how many flight hours you've got and what your plans are for the next 12 months? All right, so, so far we have 2.2 flight hours on the aircraft. That's two flights and we have about 47 hours of groundwork that we've completed on the aircraft. Along with that, we have hundreds of hours of simulation work that we've uh, done in the aircraft. Uh, we've gone out to uh, 20 knots in forward flight and 10 knots in side flight and worked out uh, a bit of the low speed envelope looking at performance and handling qualities. In the near term, uh, in the future, we're going to be putting some time on the ground test asset. So we have a ground test transmission system test bed where we have the aircraft rotor system, engine, gearbox, and we'll test out all of those components. Uh, we're in a situation where we've got the aircraft time a little bit ahead of our ground test vehicles such that we need to spend a little bit of time working time into the ground test asset because we should be about two to one hours on that ground test vehicle to make sure that we're safe to go out and expand the envelope in flight test on the aircraft. Now once we get out and we start expanding the envelope on the aircraft First, we're going to finish the low speed portion. We're going to turn on the model following fly-by-wire system, uh, and we're also going to engage the prop and start uh, uh, expanding the envelope from there. And we'll do a you know slow speed, mid speed, high speed flight. Now, you've mentioned the prop, which is one of the more interesting aspects of this aircraft. Can you talk about the advantages of that and what it feels like as a pilot? All right, so the prop has several advantages, and one is the aft part of the aircraft where the prop is, is not safety of flight. So you can fly without the prop, and you have a normal helicopter where you're able to go out to around 150 knots, speeds that a modern helicopter can go. As you engage the prop, you're able to go out much faster, 220, 230 knots with the drag that we're carrying on the aircraft presently, and and fly at those uh, much higher speeds. The advantages it has is uh, many. So you have linear acceleration. You no longer need to drop the nose uh, to accelerate and pull that collective up into your armpit or to decelerate, uh, bring the nose way up to where you can no longer see your landing zone. Now you can just apply pitch to the prop, apply thrust to the prop, and accelerate out in a level attitude. You don't have to change the body attitude of the aircraft. Similarly, on an approach. Every time you come into land in a helicopter, you're usually bringing the nose up and you can't see where it is you're going. Now I can decelerate nose down and see the area where I'm going to land all the way down, adding safety to every everyday operations for rotorcraft. Additionally, from a tactical sense, you know, diving fire is a big application for this aircraft. I can go into a steep dive where I get a nice tight beaten zone for the weapons and not accelerate or even decelerate as I'm coming down towards that engagement area. What that provides for me is more time to engage the target as I, as I come into that uh, objective area. You've designed this as a scalable aircraft. Can you talk about what you're doing in that field and the other platforms which you are looking at, the other designs of this aircraft which you are looking at? Okay, so a few years ago, what launched this platform, we had the X2 Technology Demonstrator. And the X2 Technology Demonstrator was a five to 6,000 pound platform, single pilot, no payload really, just proving out the technology. And that worked fabulously. We went over 250 knots in level flight in that aircraft and exceeded all of our goals. Low pilot workload, low vibrations, efficient uh, cruise speeds. And now we're going to the next step. Now we have an aircraft that we think is very close to something the Army will want. It has payload for six troops at 320 pounds, and it also has uh, configurable weapons that you can apply to the aircraft. Uh, and this is a roughly 10,000 pound uh, scale machine. Next, in 2017, we're teamed with Boeing on the SB-1 Defiant aircraft, and that's a two, like a roughly a 30,000 pound aircraft. And so in terms of scalability, that's a pretty broad spectrum from 5,000 to 10,000 and then a 30,000 pound machine. So it's pretty robust in that sense. That's great, Bill. Thanks for joining us at AUSA.